What's going on guys? This is going to be another Android Studio beginner tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to display images in your app. So let's uh, create a new project. Let's go start a new project. And I'm just going to call it... Um, technically, what we're going to be doing is creating an image view, image view in the layout file. So I'm going to call it image view. Hit next and next. And empty activity is fine. And finish. And let Android build your project. Once Android Studio is done building a new project, we're going to go into activity main. So into the res folder, into layout, and then into activity main. It's probably already going to be open, but uh, just in case it's not, that's where you find it. And we'll go over to the text tab, and let's delete this hello world text. And then we're going to go over to the design tab, and we need something that the image gets held in. And for Android, it's called an image view. So we'll go down to image view, and we can see the image view option down here. This is what's going to actually hold your image. Let's just drop it into the middle of the screen. And... I don't, I don't, this, this menu here is for uh, what, what you want to be displayed when your image, when there's no image set to the image view. I don't really care about that, so I'm just going to choose a white background. Click OK. And up here we're going to name our image. We're just going to name it first image. And it's going to be 250 dp wide and 250 dp in height. And we'll go back to our text tab. And we can see that there's our image view, but there's nothing set to it yet. So we're done in activity main, let's go over to main activity. So before we actually start writing code, we need the image in our project so that we can set the image to our image view. Because right now, there in, in this project in Android Studio, there's no image that we can set, except for the ones that it comes with, which we don't want to use. Those ones are no fun, just got like these mipmap images. So, um, so we need to find our Android Studio folder in our computer and then add an image to the drawables folder. I'll show you how to do that. Just open up a new Windows Explorer, if you're on Windows anyway, and if, and navigate to the folder where all of your Android Studio projects are kept. In my case, it's right here, and I'm looking for the folder uh, image view. There's image view, so that's the project that we just created. Let's go into image view, go into the app folder, go into source, main. We're going into res, which is this folder right here, res. We're going to go into the drawable folder and this is where we're going to put our image so in my case i want this desert image so i'm just going to drag it in it's just a cool picture that i like of i'm not really sure where it is somewhere in the desert with a cool river so i'm going to drag that into there things you want to watch out for is image size if images are too large sometimes they have problems loading into android studio so i'm not sure what the image threshold is but just know maybe maybe if you get a problem and you can't see your image check the size if it's a huge image, chances are that's your problem. So now that we have it in our images folder, or our drawables folder, we can refresh Android Studio, check our image, and there's our desert image. Looks pretty good. So we can close the image, and now we're ready to start writing code. So first thing we wanna do, as always, is create our tag. It's just good, uh, good practice to have your tag for logging. And then we'll write another log here, just type log D, enter, just to let us know in the log that activity main has started successfully now we're going to create our image view object so we just go image view we'll call it first image equals image view find view by id r.id and remember that we called it first image so that's the id that's in our activity main here you can see there's our id it's called first image so now we have our image view object set to the id that's in activity main so now we need to actually get the image resource and then set it to our image view. So there's quite a few ways to do that, but uh, the way that I'm going to show you is we're going to be using an, what's called an image resource. So we create, a, we go first image dot set image resource, and you can see that image resource create takes a integer. So we need something in here, we'll call it image resource, and this needs to be an integer. So what we do is we go integer image resource equals get resources, get identifier, and then you can see this takes string names as a definition type and string package. So for this part we go, it's our drawable folder and then we put the name which is desert and we can pass null for this, we don't care about that. And then for this we do this.get package name. And then we set the image resource to the image resource integer that we just declared up here. That's probably confusing. I mean I would suggest just straight up memorizing it. Know that if you want to put an image into your app, throw it into the drawable folder, create an image resource, and then set the image resource to your image view. If you have any problems with this, let me know in the comments below.
and maybe I can figure out a different way to set your image if your image isn't working. So let's test the app and we can see it starts successfully and the image gets set to the image view. So this tutorial is just to show you sort of what an image view is and give an example of how to set an image to the image view. Uh, I'm not going to go over how to resize it dynamically or anything like that. I actually did another video, I'll put a link here, it's for um, using a different library called Glide and that actually allows you to dynamically resize your images and I, I also included uh, a, was it a slider? So you can move the slider and dynamically resize the image. So if, if you're looking for something like that, check out that video. But this one I wanted to keep it nice and simple and basic. If this video was helpful, don't forget to leave a like below. Follow me on Twitter for notifications when new tutorials like this get posted. Subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching.